Biostatistics is critical to medical research. Uh, biostatisticians actually design the studies that help to prove where or provide evidence that uh, therapeutic interventions might work. For example, if you're a drug company and you want, you want to develop a drug that helps people with diabetes, you can't just assume that that drug's going to work. You have to try it in human beings, but it may not do any better than giving a person a placebo. So our statisticians design the trial. They figure out how many patients do you need? What's the expected result for these patients? And they do all of the design stage, and then they do all of the analyses. So biostatistics is very critical to medical research. It has evolved due to the increased computing power and the ability to extract genomic information. So whereas earlier we might have to figure something out with pen and pencil, then computing made it easier. But then there were still things you couldn't do because computing power was limited. Now computing power is very extensive, so we can look at massive data sets and do predictive modeling. We can look at genomic information and figure out where the actual information is. So it's really evolved, but one of the major challenges is that the methods for dealing with these data haven't caught up with the ability to access the data. So that's a major challenge in the field of biostatistics, to develop the appropriate methods to actually analyze the data. And they are always working on these challenges, and they come up with new methods to extract the real information from the databases. The demand is really strong right now, because as I say, we're critical to all of medical research, and medical research is expanding with the ability to extract data from these large databases and to uh, create genomic databases. So the demand is very large. We're talking about perhaps having some joint symposia. We might uh, trade faculty for a while, have somebody from here go over there, have somebody from there come over here, so they get to know the people who are in that place, they get to know what they're working on and what their interests are and how they're approaching the problems. Maybe they can bring a different approach to the same problem and they can work together. So if we can get people to be together to talk about their problems rather than having to deal with email and uh, distance, that will help a lot.